Hello again everyone, Edwin Leonard back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the transit sun uh, making a square uh, opposition or in conjunct to the natal Mercury. Now when we're talking about transit sun involved the sun, this could be about our life, our actions, what we want, uh, what we want to focus on, our attention, where we want to shine in. When a transit sun is basically you know, making an adverse uh, aspect to, Mer to, to your natal Mercury with a square opposition, even in conjunct. This could manifest in one's life, one's actions, what you want, your focus, your attention. Uh, it may conflict with your communications at this time and even uh, matters with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. It could be, you know, something where, you know, say if it's in, you know, Aquarius, I mean, it could be some kind of, you know, you might be you know, doing things, something that might be, you know, very unorthodox. I'm not saying you're going to do like a Nick Luenda, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, doing a tightrope over the Grand Canyon with no netting or climbing up the walls like Spider-Man with suction gubs on ends, but it might conflict with what, you know, maybe how you're, you know, it could be with your neighbors, with your cousins, um, you know, may believe or, or even... Uh, you know, siblings, say if Mercury is in Taurus and it's your natal Mercury is in Taurus and the transit sun's in Aquarius making a square to it, it might be more down to earth uh, siblings, cousins, or neighbors that might not agree with some of your actions at this time. And it may be something to remember that Mercury is connected with our communications. It can be what we, if, if it's something that you want as far as communications go, it might be harder to attain it at this time because you're talking about conflicting. Uh, energy and the thing about it um, and also uh, Mercury is associated with learning assimilating information so it could be a time you know what you have to focus on what you've got to put your attention on may conflict with trying to learn uh, at this time I mean say if you're, you're talking about this transit Sun being in Capricorn and or the 10th house it could be you know some kind of you know business career related matters things connected with your ambitions you know things that you're trying to attain made in what you want may conflict with you actually trying to learn something say if you were going to college or, or trying to go to college and pick up a course or something there might be a situation with these things it may be in conflict with each other now mercury is also connected with the rational thinking and uh and the thing about it too is you might uh there there can be you know some difficulty in terms of you know matters connected with your life of say for the transit sun is in pisces it might be difficult i mean if your life is in chaos and there's some confusion in it uh at this time it might be or, or something about your life may be you know somewhat nebulous or unclear it might be a situation where maybe it's causing some issues with you uh thinking rationally or there might be some issues uh, with a child with the biological father it could be with authority figures that might be driving you figuratively crazy and it's causing some difficulty in actually thinking rationally now another thing is is that mercury is also connected with local transportation in short journeys and um, the thing about this is this could be where we might have you know more difficulty in acting on um, you know, sun is about our actions and what we want as well and it can be a situation where you know the, these things may be harder uh, to attain at this time it might be some issues even with the vitality and the energy level might be causing some problems and you even taking uh, these short journeys or it might be something where maybe these things are causing some kind of vitality and energy related issues even if the transit sun is in an you know indefatigable leo or basically indefatigable inexorable you know a leo that has inexorable energy it could be a situation to remember that Mercury is also connected with our mobility. So it might be harder at this time to do things in terms of 
you know, just going from point A to point B for whatever reason, whether it might be sun, you know, sun is about domination. It can be where, you know, say if the sun is either, you know, transiting some can zodiac, some cancer, and or the fourth house, it might be some home-related matters. It might be about, you know, doing things for the home and for the family. It might be introversion, it might be conflicting with you trying to get around. Now, anatomically speaking, Mercury corresponds with the hands, the arms, nerves, breathing, uh, the brain, and uh, and the lungs as well. And the thing about this is sometimes this transit could manifest in some physical related issues with that, because remember the sun is about our you know the physical physical body have kind of a connection with it, and it's also I mean. Mercury, I, I stated before what it's associated with uh, anatomically, so sometimes there may be some uh, issues that are associated uh, with that. And the thing about it is, and you look at this as well, um, I mean, there can be some issues with hand-eye coordination, I would say as well, because the sun rolls either the left or the right eye, depending on gender. And of course, Mercury is connected with the hands if you're involved in some kind of sport. Say, um, if Gemini isn't, say, if the Gemini is involved um, somehow with this, um, you know, it can be something with, uh, you know, like if you're trying to play badminton or uh, ping pong, something that like a Gemini like sport that requires very fast, quick reactions. There may be more difficulty in this, and say if Aries is involved, it might be some issue, you know, something with like a combative sport, like boxing, something, a, a sport, a fighting sport that does require uh, you to be uh, proficient in terms of uh, having, you know, as far as hand-eye coordination may go. Now, the thing, and remember that Mercury is also about eyesight as well, and the sun, again, is connected with the left or the right eye, depending on gender, so this could be a time for some people, especially if you already have an existing eye issue, that it might be some difficulty uh, with this at this time. Um, Mercury is also connected uh, with Thebes, so uh, it can be isolated, but it can be a little greater you know, propensity uh, for for something happening, you know, to you as far as, um, you know, as far as being taken in by thieves. Remember, I mean, it might be some issue where, you know, you're not really, I mean, sun is about our focus and our attention. If we're not paying attention to certain things, there might be, you know, greater susceptibility to thievery. If the, the door is not locked properly or there's a window open or you don't have, you say you have some a sophisticated electronic computer alarm system set up. Maybe that's not set up 100% properly. Now, uh, another another way this can manifest and pan out. This could be in some cases about it could be a biological um, father. It could be a child, even an authority dominant male figure, an authority figure may oppose or may not agree with what you're communicating about what you're thinking. Uh, at this time, say if um, you have this, uh, say if your Mercury, natal Mercury is in Gemini in the ninth house in your natal chart. It can be where you might be talking about taking a uh, manifold, which is Gemini's variety, college courses, and they might, maybe, maybe the person, you know, people involved might think you're spreading yourself too thin. It's, there's a thing called dissipating the self through lack of an integrating purpose, and that's a Gemini energy all the way. Uh, of course, um, uh, but the thing about it is, it could also be a, a situation where, uh, I mean, remember the sun could be connected with the physical body. There might be a physical issue which may um, adversely affect your communications, or, your, or you might have difficulty in articulating what is actually going on uh, with you physically. Say, if there, say if this is an Aquarius and you have um, you know, some is say you know, Aquarius is involved with the transit. Sun is in Aquarius. There may be some kind of you might be feeling some electricity or some shock sensation, which could be attributed to nerve damage. But for whatever reason, you might be having difficulty in verbalizing it, and articulating it. And also, too, uh, remember the sun is connected with our drive and motivation, so it might be more difficulty in finding the drive and motivation, which is the sun, 
which would be for short journeys, which of course is associated uh, with Mercury. Say if it's in Pisces as an example, if the Mercury, your, your name of Mercury is in Pisces, it could be very convoluted, short journeys, maybe there's problems due to maybe feeling sleepy or lethargic. Um, it could be, uh, say, if the, you know, the transit sun is in Pisces, especially it might be where you're feeling more sleepy or lethargic, it might be cause some difficulty in trying to take these short journeys. Hold on a moment, people. Now, in some cases, going back, uh, reiterating what I was saying before, basically, I mean, problems uh, can can exist some in some cases in terms of focusing, which is the sun, and remember, Mercury is the eyesight. So, it, say if this is in Gemini, um, say if say if uh, your natal Mercury is in Gemini, it could be double vision, or in some cases too, this transit can also manifest and be expressed and have been. Uh, having a challenge maybe getting attention which is the sun it could be from siblings from cousins neighbors which of course is associated with mercury say if the transit sun is in sagittarius it could be maybe difficult to getting attention in publishing matters with the outdoor sports advertising it could be college so i mean this is uh Really, and, and it could be a situation to remember again that the sun is connected with the biological father, and also Mercury is associated with sib siblings, cousins, and neighbors. So there may be a conflict uh, with with the biological father and, and your siblings if you do have any, or cousins, or even with neighbors uh, at this time. Say if Aries is involved, it might be you know something of. It might be somewhat acrimonious and very contentious, even combative in some cases. So anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Learner saying stay well.